Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and the Loki series on Disney Plus gave us its first official look in a Super Bowl spot for Marvel's upcoming streaming shows, and I just know a lot of you were like, eh, I see your Brady Bunch Scarlet Witch and your Lumberjack Falcon, but ooh, give me more of that Loki. And I already dug super deep into WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier and other videos. Check those out. But here, we're talking Loki. This may seem like a mere couple seconds of Tom Hiddleston in a chair saying some evil shit, but this may actually be this Disney Plus trailer's most perplexing clue that gives us a much clearer picture into what this show could be. I'm gonna break it all down, plus some possible clues in the title design. Spoiler warning in case I predict anything too accurately and ruin your life. Let's take a look at this clip. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. That, that's it, that's all we get, but it's also all we need. The last time we saw Loki was in Avengers Endgame, when a past version of him escaped during the time heist, portaling away with the Tesseract Space Stone, creating a new branch timeline from 2012 onward. So the Loki we got to know through the events of Thor the Dark World and Thor Ragnarok, which softened the character into a bit more of a good guy, he remains dead after Thanos cracked his neck in the beginning of Infinity War. So this Loki remains the unredempted, still evil, jackass that he was in the first Avengers film. And so he says things like, I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. <laughs> yeah, I miss this guy too. So let's take a look at Loki here. He is cuffed by the wrist, detained, wearing some kind of prisoner jumpsuit with this orange logo of the letters TVA, which stands for Time Variance Authority. The Time Variance Authority is the enforcement agency in the Marvel comics that regulates timeline meddling. They're kind of like the time cops of the Rick and Morty universe, though I doubt the MCU time cops will look like testicles. Actually, Rick and Morty writer Mike Waldron is the showrunner on Loki. So the Douglas Adams-esque absurdities of sci-fi bureaucracy that Rick and Morty loves to explore will likely play a very big role in this Loki series as well. So with the TVA, when a Marvel character tries to use time travel to influence events of the past or future, the TVA drops in. They first showed up in the 80s with Thor comics and the Fantastic Four, Kang the Conqueror, Power Man and Iron Fist, the Avengers, and later on they actually helped She-Hulk with a legal case involving time travel. Really, the TVA is one of those kind of useless bureaucracies that's never really able to contain any of the timeline meddling they've set out to prevent. Like, think about it, a number of characters have used the time gem with impunity. The X-Men have tied the Marvel timeline into a Gordian not. The TVA is also plagued by corruption and inefficiency, as many bureaucracies are. It's overseen by a mysterious Mr. Alternity, with its regulations carried out by clone agents and judges like Justice Love, Justice Goodwill, Justice Peace. Really, it's exactly the kind of agency that Loki would love to burn to the ground, whether or not he's interested in screwing around with the timeline. And every time an alteration of the timeline creates a divergent reality, as Loki did, a new Chrono Monitor spawns inside the TVA to investigate that violation. And I think that is where our boy Loki has gotten into trouble. But you may be asking, Loki has the Space Stone, not the Time Stone. Like he can teleport spatially anywhere he wants within a cosmos, but he can't use that to move forward or backward in time. So why is he in hot water with Marvel's Time Cops? Well, I got a theory, but before I get to it, let's just take a moment to imagine how traumatic it must have been for Loki to get incarcerated like this, which is like the a millionth time it's happened, this guy's always getting locked up. Now granted, the Avengers and Guardians have proven that every prison in the MCU is meant to be broken out of, Still, it's just no fun for this to happen to you. You know, you get stripped down, they spray you down with stuff, they make you squat and cough. And fellas, it's a pretty humiliating experience, especially if you haven't been tidying up down there. Which is where Manscaped comes in. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this episode. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you know I love Manscaped, both the awesome products they sell and how much their brand loves wordplay subtlety that is just so low key. Yeah, f pubes. Well, brace yourselves, viewer, because just when you thought you had it all figured out, Manscaped trims a layer deeper with their brand new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof body trimmer. It's got an upgraded motor with quiet stroke technology, diamond textured, no slip grip handle, and a built in LED light to help you keep clean where the sun don't gleam. Mm, listen to that. Purr. Like a flurkin. And their new Perfect Package 3.0 includes this Lawnmower 3.0, plus the Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant and their Crop Reviver Refreshing Spray. <laughs> That's not where it goes. When you purchase the Perfect Package 3.0 kit online at manscaped.com, you get the biggest bang for your buck. As a subscriber, you get 20% savings on your order instantly, a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered every three months, and two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the patented high-performance anti-chafing Manscaped 
boxer briefs. Your shaved nuts will glide off these like Loki through a portal. Get 20% off plus free shipping and two free gifts when you purchase their new Perfect Package 3.0 kit with my code NEWROCK at manscaped.com. Okay, back to Loki. Loki's escape from the time heist is perhaps the biggest loose end from Endgame. If you think about it, it's the one Infinity Stone that was not returned to its point of origin. So even though Loki himself may not be time traveling as much as he's teleporting, he still is the smoking gun evidence of the Avengers time heist. He is the piece of evidence that remains out of place. So in the eyes of the TVA, Loki would be the one to take the fall for all that timeline meddling that the Avengers got away with. Now the meddling wasn't his fault, he was just a meddling beneficiary. But when the TBA detected that the timeline got changed through Endgame, Loki on his Branch 2012 timeline was out of place and he is known as the god of mischief around the universe. So yeah, he would probably be the one that they arrest and detain. Now we got some news that Owen Wilson will be joining the cast of this series. I could see him playing one of those justices that I mentioned. Or really, I could see him as a maddeningly chill chrono monitor who spawns after the time heist and arrests Loki to answer for what happened. So imagine when Loki growls the words, I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Chrono Monitor Wilson could react, Wow. I hate to hold you indefinitely, pal, but our timeline is out of whack and I can't close this case file until I get some answers. So Loki's threat of burning the place to the ground is super exciting because it seems to apply both to the TVA headquarters that he's in and really to the multiverse as a whole. Based on early concept art and descriptions of the show, the Loki series appears to place the God of Mischief in various time periods, including the 1970s. And our unending endgame rewatches have even suggested Loki could have been snooping around the background of that 1970s sequence. And when you examine the Loki title card, the letters toggle among various typefaces before vanishing in some wisps of smoke and a green flash of light. Over the past months, a few different versions of this toggling typeface titles have been released, and there have been some attempts to connect the typefaces and fonts to the title lettering of past MCU films, like that first thin L, kind of looks similar to the typeface of the Spider-Man Homecoming poster, and the golden glowing eye is kind of similar to the Iron Man poster, and then the final metallic dirty L is kind of similar to that L in the Incredible Hulk title, etc, etc. So far, a lot of these seem a bit reachy to me, and I know I do a lot of that. But really, I think this is meant to reflect the God of Mischief's disguising trickery, and how he might vanish in thin air through time to burn his time cop captors to the ground. And think about it, the TVA probably has some kind of time traveling capabilities in order to regulate and enforce others' timeline meddling, so Loki's breakout could give him another way to elude capture through time without having to use the Time Stone or the Avengers Quantum Tunnel Pym Tech that was never really fully explained or, or justified scientifically, whatever. Loki could steal a new form of time tech from the TVA, like a criminal loose in the police station, stealing all their military-grade weaponry and wreaking havoc. And from the ashes of the TVA, Loki could play cat and mouse with Chrono Monitor Owen Wilson. Wow and others hopping around through history as this further meddling burns to the ground the whole Marvel Universe. Now, a reminder that you can chat directly with me when these trailers drop on New Rockstar's official Discord, which has really been my go-to for theories and my unfiltered reactions to all these Marvel updates. For Discord access, please consider becoming a patron of New Rockstars today at patreon.com slash New Rockstars. But what role do you think Owen Wilson will play in Loki? Comment down below with your thoughts, and again, be sure to check out my breakdown of Falcon and Winter Soldier footage and the Easter eggs hidden in that WandaVision footage. Follow me at EA Voss, follow New Rockstars on social media, and subscribe to New Rockstars for all of our Marvel breakdowns. Thank you for watching. Bye. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Come on, Boogie! Let's burn it down! Boogie! Boogie!